Well, right now, balancing the needs of students and teachers, that is still up for debate with parents wondering what the final reopening plan for CCSD will look like. And right now, many parents, they are expressing concerns with the district's plan. And 13 Action News reporter Jeremy Chen right now is live with how a school board meeting is shaping up. Jeremy. Yeah, Todd, Tricia, right now we are two hours in into this special CCSD board meeting, which is, as you can see, taking place right over here. A bulk of that two hours consisted of district staff giving a presentation uh, to the board, kind of describing their process in developing the current proposed plan. Now, we've seen a lot of parents uh, give comment as well as ask questions, and they total, according to the district, about 300 plus for this special meeting alone. Now, the district says it's analyzed different Different methods such as having half day sessions and delayed start times. District stra staff eventually settled on its blended hybrid method to balance both keeping students and teachers safe and provide them with in person learning that parents desire. Now, proposals like half day sessions were eliminated due to issues with properly cleaning the classrooms and meeting phase two guidelines set by Governor Sisolak. Now, technology will make up a main part of the reopening plans with costs of $28 million going to Chromebooks to facilitate distance learning for every student. The district acknowledged because of limited supplies, not all students would have a Chromebook by the start of classes. They do believe they will get all of them sometime in the middle of fall. Now, the proposed reopening plan currently includes blended learning every week by having students learn from home for three days and be on campus in the classroom with their teachers for two days. The schedule, of course, would depend on which group the student would be in. There is also the third option, which is exclusively um, distance learning completely. Now, as far as the meeting right now, it's still going on at this point. We're going to keep tabs on what the, the board is going to be saying right now. They are having their discussion with that uh, presentation ending just about 10 minutes ago. They are not expected to vote on a final plan today. That is expected this Thursday, July 9th at the regularly scheduled board meeting. Jeremy Chen, 13 Action News. All right.